I'll leave the study and up to the trainer, Georgina, and he shows me a few things that my opponent will do, or a few good things and a few bad things that he do, and we just we capitalise that in training, and then we'll bring that to the fight game as well. I've been sparring um, Ashland's uh, Southpaw, so I've been getting a lot of Southpaw sparring partners like um, Alex Artong, a couple of boys from Wollongong, a couple of the Southpaws here at Costa Zoo Gym, like Ned, Ned Kane, Amateur. And um, yeah, they've been helping me, so it's been great. Guys, uh, the fight's uh, 31st of March, this Saturday. Uh, if you want to come along, it's in Punchbowl um, Croatian Club. So tickets are on sale at the door, general admission, $4. So come, come that night, it's going to be action packed, guarantee it. The guy's fighting very experienced, but Rocky's training hard. I think he's ready to take the next step. So uh, he's, he's coming along really well. He's good. His timing's good. Uh, his weight's good, so um, he's ready to go. He's been sparring a few South Wars. He's been sparring Ned. Ned Kane is a very good amateur. He's had over 50 fights as an amateur. He's been sparring Anton Alate. Uh, he's a very good South Wars, very tricky. This fight, yeah, I've yet. In the middle, and my next fight, I'm going for Super Walter because, yeah, and then I'm just going to keep dropping until I feel like I'm at a comfortable weight where I can just maintain and feel strong and comfortable, and, like the division. All the strength come back, all the speed, the skill. So, yeah, can't wait. <laughs> um, I'm fighting David Galvin, he's from Alice Springs. He's a tall, he's quick, he's got good head movement, but I've been practicing to catch him and different like techniques to like corner him and hurt him, just win the fight. It'd be great if everyone could come down and support me and all the boys for my first professional fight and everyone else's fights at the Croatian Club this Saturday. When I first come back, I'm lacking a bit of fitness, but now I'm just perfect in shape, I'm sharp, all good. Who are you fighting? Zach Swan, Southport guy. Yeah, you fought him before? 40 months. Beat him was a good fight, it's going to be a different story this time. Anyone who wants to come down, come down 31st Saturday, support the boys. Rocky Jerkic, it's a good card on. Come support me. A lot of sparring, um, training real hard, running in the morning, plyometrics, um, sprints. Training's uh, going real well. Uh, the last fight was the um, Australian titles against uh, Luke Jackson. Um, all know what happened there. Ended 16 all. Count back gave it to him. So. He's off to the Olympics now, so good luck to him. Uh, the next step is just uh, keep training, stay in the gym. That's the most important thing. Um, we got, we're fighting now on the 31st this week coming at the Croatian Club at Punchbowl. We're fighting a boy from uh, Melbourne, Tim Lowcock. He's a tough boy, a wild boy, so um, we, we prepared for him and uh, it should be a good fight. Yeah, well, we've got a few boys now turning pro, Josh, and um, it's always tempting to go pro, but um, I'm, I'm only young, I'm only 18 and a half. A lot of people forget that I'm, I'm still young. So I'm going I'm to sit in the, uh, in the amateurs for, for a couple more years. Commonwealth Games and the uh, Brazil Olympics coming up in the next four years. So we'll stay around and we'll uh, try, to, try to work to the, towards them. Come out to the Croatian Club if you ain't doing anything on Saturday. 31st, come out and see another good show. Uh, I've seen him fight a couple of times. He's a big boy. You don't want to be hit by him. So it's basically the plan is not be hit. He's, uh, he's coming in on him. I think his last one was about 250 pounds, so you know, it's a, he's a big boy. He's, you know, the last thing you want to be doing is it's going to be like getting hit by, by a horse kick. So uh, we'll, we'll go, we'll work on, we've worked on our defence, so we'll see how we go. He's a genuine heavyweight, uh, apart from his size, uh, I guess uh, height. A lot of the heavyweights these days are tall, but all jokes aside, he is ready, uh, he is fit. Um, he's hitting me you know, the hardest I think I've ever been hit by him. Um, so, yeah, we're good to go. We're coming to fight. I'll do what I have to do to win. Uh, the jobs, if it's there, I'll take it. If not, we'll do the eight rounds. We'll box and move. If not, if we brawl, we brawl. I'm happy to do either. I'm, I'm not overly fussed. If it ends up, we stand toe to toe, we stand toe to toe. It'll be a good fight. George and George fight, the best fight I've actually uh, although the video I used the most to, 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 to come up with a game plan would be Thor Hoopman, um, where George lost. Sorry, George. Uh, but, uh, you know, it showed holes, showed, uh, showed weaknesses, and we're going to exploit that. How we get around that, you'll have to see on the night after we hold the belt up and say, yeah, we're champions.
Fitness is definitely going to be key. Um, you know, with the big boys, um, you know, it's it's the, they carry on a lot of weight as they as they do normally. So to go in the ring and punch on for eight rounds, um, if it goes eight rounds, it's going to be a definite key. Guys, I think this is going to be a great fight. Anyone wants to come, it, should, it will be an absolute cracker of a fight. We're two big boys, and we both plan on hitting each other hard. You guys, it, it wouldn't work without the fans. Uh, we want you to come down. We need you to come down. So get down there, buy yourself a ticket, and enjoy. A really good night of boxing, got a lot of amateur fights on, got four other pro fights, and then we got the main title with George and, and, and Brett for the New South Wales title. It's a big fight guys, and um, like I said, without the fans it doesn't happen, so get down there and help us out and make it, make it the, the proper night it should be.